Okay, camera's hot, mic is hot. Welcome back, friends. I am Jonathan. I think it goes without saying. Still, or as long as the Lord lets me. Uh, yes, welcome back to the channel. Um, what are we doing? We're doing hauls. Hauls for days. Hauls on top of hauls. Uh, yeah. So, um, let's just jump right in. I think we know what's going on here. Not too much of a preamble today. Um, yeah, got, got a lot of goodies lined up today. We'll do a little housekeeping and then we'll just, uh, just jump right in. Yeah. This is the last haul video that I'm going to do. False. Coffee cup of the day. Dunder Mifflin. If you know, you know. It's a great show. What am I sampling? I am sampling... Uh, where is it? Where is it? Here it is. I am sampling a bit of a fragrance, which I am a big fan of. And this is a house that I need to give some more attention to. This is Healy's Vetiver. I don't know what it's called. Uh, Vetiver Virtus? Vertas? Veritas? Vetiver Veritas. And this is a good vetiver. Um, there's a... Uh, it's, it's really one of the sharpest vetivers that I've smelled in a while. Um, need to give that house some more attention. Um, Cardinal, I hear from our friend Ramsey. <clears throat> um, yeah, uh, that's the only thing I'm sampling right now. Uh, scent of the Day. Scent of the Day is a part of this haul, so I'm just going to just gonna break it out. Um, I've been wearing it for the last couple of days, trying to get to know it. Um, very obscure Italian designer. It goes by the name of Carlo Pignatelli. Uh, and this is Man, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, Eau de Toilette Man. So... I would assume it's called Carlo Pignatelli Man. And uh, <clears throat> not a lot of information about the, uh, out there about it. Um, quirky little bottle. Uh, yeah, it's, um, it's a spicy, aromatic. Um, some nutmeg and kind of muted citruses. Uh, ambery base. I'm still getting to know this. Um, I'm kind of glad that there's no notes out there about it. So it's just allowing me to discover it without any, without any bias, um, or, or preconceived notions about what it might be. There's a couple of people on Perfumo, um, Varanis Rodari, I think, and JJ Colburn have, um, a couple of write-ups about it. And, uh, they kind of, they, they kind of bring it home about what it's trying to do and they're 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 pretty close to it um <clears throat> it's not outstanding but it's uh but they're using outstanding uh materials and the blending is really very nice so um that is a win uh, i just took a flyer on it i got it for real cheap um i'd never heard of it and it just looked weird and you know just looked right up my street for you know something nobody's ever heard of um so yeah so that's that's my thing, and that turned out to be a win. Uh, okay, we'll do a couple of the things that don't really have boxes, and then um, and I've kind of unboxed some of this stuff and unwrapped some of this stuff just so that we don't have to go through the ripping open of boxes. These are all hauls that I've gotten in, like I've said before, all the way back to spring of last year. So don't think all these hauls are you know something I've gotten in this past week. That's certainly not the case. Um, here is one that I've grown very fond of from Romeo Gigli. I don't know if it's Gigli or Gigli or Gigli, but this is the Per Uomo, and this is a very nice fougere. Um, very nice. Uh, plum at the top, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, I think that's what initially drew me to it. Um, that's a really good fragrance. I wear that... Uh, uh, I can see going through that bottle. That's one of those fragrances in my collection I could see ripping through. Um, I don't know what I did with the box, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hunt it down right this second. But uh, <clears throat> this was a 
This was a kind gift from uh, a friend of ours. You know, you know him in the chat as Germs. Um, his name is Jeremy. And uh, sent this along. I guess he had a couple of backups and wanted to share and knew I was a fan of, of uh, the house. Asked me if I tried it, and I hadn't. Um, foray for men. And I have Gianfranco Foray for man, which is awesome. I'd not gotten a hold of this, though. I mean, it's on my long list of things, but uh, this is a Pierre Bourdon. And this is him again playing with the pineapple at the top. And uh, this is a really nice citrus aromatic. Yeah, very nice. Uh, a little on the lighter side, but um, but a very nice fragrance. <clears throat> very nice. Thank you, Germs, by the way. Uh, I showed this off the other day that I've I've been just smitten with. Um, it's been around forever. Everybody knows about it. Um, but I'm just now getting around to it. So I guess, you know, you get there when you get there. Uh, this is Opium Pour Ohm. And this is the Eau de Toilette. You can see how much I'm ripping through this bottle. Um, I'm going to either have to get another EDT or sort out the EDP or or both. Um, Star Anise and Black Current with the Galanga, Galanga, I think I'm saying that right, Spices in the Mid. One of the best openings I've come across in a very, very long time. I'm happy I picked that up and I will have to fortify the armory for that one, no doubt. Um, this is a collector's piece more than it is a new fragrance. I have several bottles of this. Um, this is a first edition Paco Rabanne Pour Homme and this is two half bottles of the Aftershave and the EDT and <clears throat> and it's on a stand and it's got that round the rounded R to let you know it's the first edition. Um, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, when I first got it, this is the aftershave you'll notice, is a little cloudy. And when I first got it, I was a little bit skeptical of the cloudiness of the, the aftershave. But trying it, testing it, it's as fresh as a daisy. Both are. Both are in excellent condition. The cap, like, I don't know how well you can see that, but there's not a scratch on anything, not a smudge, a, a ding, a dent, nothing. This thing is in impeccable condition. And the juice and the juice to match, both both phenomenal. I'm really happy to have this. Uh, I have tons of these little um, collector's pieces and I can't uh, I can't tell you how cool that is. Happy to have that in the collection. Um, all right. Well, let's see. Let's just uh, let's move right along here. Um, okay. I don't know if I showed this off yet. Uh, I don't believe I have, but <clears throat> I'm a fan of Salvador Dali. Not only the fragrances, but the artwork. And um, I, I have been for a very long time. Um, and I kind of I kind of saw these around, and I. I didn't know what they were. I didn't know if they were, I, I didn't know if they were some kind of novelty thing or, <clears throat> but turn, come to find out there's a whole line of these. Um, the Dolly Hot Perfumery Collection and inside that collection there is this collection, the Fabulous Collection. And I don't know if anybody's familiar with this. I wasn't until I stumbled onto it. And this is Bucara, Bucara, Bucata, Bucara. I don't know. Um, and this is... It's basically a gold-plated bottle. It's basically a gold-plated Salvador Dali pour on bottle. How freaking cool is that? Um, and uh, so I went down the rabbit hole, got, got to looking at the notes, and I was like, oh, boy. Um... It was it was kind of pricey. It was a little bit on the pricey side, so I kind of held off on it, sat on it for a while, and then the seller slashed the price, and I picked this up for a song and a dance, and it's really very good. Um, it's it's um, it's got like a, I wouldn't say Middle Eastern, maybe Eastern, like Indian kind of a 
flair to it. Um, dark, rich, um, dried fruits. Like, wouldn't surprise me if there were dates and figs. Um, kind of, kind of at first, it made me think of Santel Royale without, without the, the harsh sandalwood. Um, that's kind of what I'm getting here. Uh, but an awesome pickup. And I was blind, obviously. I'd never heard of it before, and I doubted anybody would have had a decant of it. So I was just like, yeah, that's coming into the collection. So, fabulous collection. Bukara. Pretty cool little thing to have in a collection. Um, this is just a part of this, you know, these couple of hauls here. Um, I, uh, <clears throat> I saw this on Fragrance Net or Fragrance X, and it... I had the 40% coupon code and which brought this down to like $52 um, and it's uh, Ombre Sultan so I picked up just leave it sealed and um, leave it for if I need it or I don't know maybe a maybe a trade down the road like a trade chip you know um, somebody that doesn't have it and, and those Ombre Sultans get scarce or you know some of those older bottles that surge start getting scarce then that might be a good uh, bargaining chip. So, um, we'll stay with Surge. Um, this is quite a bit older and, um, on par with one of my favorites, uh, some of my favorites from the house. And this is, uh, Borneo 1834. And this is the Palais Royale bottle. And, uh, let me tell you, this is a freaking awesome fragrance. Um, great bottle. Rich Mitch always um, always comments on how great these bottles are, and they really are great. Very delicate, very very chic, very you know, um, very classy, simple, simple design. Ah oh, man, chocolatey patchouli. This is a freaking good fragrance. I don't know what the Seal de Grasse bottle or the later editions of this are like. But I'm very happy to have this one. It is a very good fragrance. Uh, I couldn't. I could not be happier. Um, okay, we've got a couple from a house I am very fond of, and these were these are pretty high on my list of wants, um, along with along with a few others. But I couldn't be happier to have these. I tried this a long time ago, and I, like I almost half dismissed it. Um, this is. Panda. This is the original Panda. I think there's another, there's another edition of it out. Um, don't quote me on that, but I think so. And this is the first edition. And when I first smelled it, the first time I smelled it, um, I was like, oh yeah, it's it's artsy. It's uh, you know, I get it. You know, bamboo, crunchy greens, forest floor, kind of bright. But then I revisited it a while after. And when I came back to it, I guess maybe with my experience with different things I've tried, I was like, holy cow, how did I not catch how good this fragrance is? Um, like I said, it's a, like green, crunchy leaves and like forest, like foliage, like, you know, fresh, fresh forest. Um, and bamboo and I don't know what else is in there honestly I haven't looked at the, the notes um, but there feels like in the base there feels like there's a there feels like there's a campfire off in the distance like and you gotta kind of chase it around it's not very it's not very overt but um, and is a good fragrance and I don't mind wearing it either it's a, it's a great wear it's very unique um, this is a long time, long time on my, uh, long time on my list of things I would love to add to the collection. And this past year, uh, for Christmas, I believe, this was given to me and I could not be happier. This is my favorite probably from the house. Um, squid. Say what you want to say about squid, but I think it's a masterpiece. Um, ink, ink and ambergris and oceanic, uh, oceanic 
not not um, not aquatic. I don't think this is aquatic. I think this is oceanic with uh, with that ambergris and uh, man, it is it, it's stunning. It's stunning. Some some may not think this is the best the house has to offer, and and for them that may be true. But I think this is an absolute masterpiece, and I've pined after it forever and a day, and. Um, and it is now in my collection. I couldn't be more happy. Um, I'm not going to ruin that by putting that back now. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, there's a channel out there called Rob SOS. And um, he's got a great channel. Real low-key dude. I think he's a DJ. Um, <clears throat> I've been watching him forever. He's had a channel for like six or seven years. And um, he's always making good recommendations. So I keep an eye on his channel. Um, and he recommended this one. And this is Alfred and Hoff, number three. Obviously, there are three in this line. Um, and he recommended this one. Now, this is not my typical go-after. This is... Best way I can describe this, this is like an off-the-beaten-path, um, like, club fragrance, like, I don't want to say blue. Blue blue almost insults it, but it's... And look at this bottle. The bottle's very cool. Um, it is a... You know, what I, you know what it made me think of? This may sound strange, but... This smells like a... Like a space age. Like a... Like what designers will be like in a hundred years. Like a very futuristic blue fragrance for lack of a better term um yeah it's very good um not the most natural smelling thing in the world but it is good if you just want something you don't have to think about and you're kind of just in the mood to you know wear something easy this is a good fragrance it's very good um i'm glad he turned me on to it, it wasn't that expensive so i don't feel like oh it's you know i got burned or whatever but no that's a good that's a good recommendation right there okay we've got two from a house i'm very fond of this is um this is the sister fragrance to my beloved eau noir cologne and this is dior's wad d'argent cologne and this was also a christmas present and I could not be happier to add this to the collection. And look at look how dark that juice is. This is a this is an awesome fragrance. Um, this is a splash, and I guess the seller didn't have the the atomizer, but that doesn't bother me at all. This is a wonderful fragrance, and I could not be happier to add it to that collection. There's Eau Noir, Bois d'Argent, and I think. I want to say Cologne Blanche, Cologne, Cologne Blanche. Is that the third Cologne in that that series? By, I think, I think this. No. I think the Eau Noir and the Cologne Blanche were done by uh, Francis Kirkjohn. I don't know who this one was done by. I want to say, it's like a Nick Minardo or something like that. I don't know. If if you know, drop it in the drop it in the chat. Um, and uh, another from the house of Dior, Christian Dior. This is one of the better leathers I've come along, I've come along in a, in a, quite some time. This is Queer Canache. Look at that juice. Queer Canache is a st like stunning from the atomizer. You're just like, oh, wow. This um, this has really jumped up the the rankings of of my favorite leather, um, favorite leathers. This is stunning. Queer Kanash, I'm going to spend some more time with it and give it a little more of an in-depth look for you of what I think about it. Um, okay, we're getting down, we're getting down to the end here. Uh, we have one from a house that I recently got into over the past few months and I'm kind of trying to kind of trying to grab some of the, the heavy hitters from the house, and there are many from what I'm understanding. Um, I have um, 
Eau de Cologne, or, uh, what is it? Eau de Orange Vert. Um, I have that. Uh, Eau de Cologne. Um, I, I have another haul over here that has another Hermes in it. And this one is Eau de Hermes. And this, I don't know how vintage this one is. I know it's not the modern release, but uh, if anybody knows exactly how vintage this one is, drop it in the comments. Um, I know it's a, a bit older, but it's not its not mega old or anything. And Eau de Hermes is brilliant. As I'm finding, uh, most, most Hermeses are brilliant. Yeah, this is very good. Very, very good. Um, this is the kind of fragrance. This You could make this a daily driver in the winter. I don't even know if you couldn't pull it off in the spring and the fall. I don't know if it's a hot weather fragrance, but it's definitely a fragrance that I could, I could wear every day. It's brilliant. Um, I don't know why Hermes has taken me so long to come around to or to check out. Just one of those things, you know. I don't know. I don't know what made me think Hermes wouldn't be a house I'd, I'd get on with, but you get there when you get there, right? Um, okay, two from a house that I'm very fond of. Um, this is from the house. These are two from the house of Hiram Green. And this one is Slow Dive. And Slow Dive is a brilliant honey fragrance. It's not just honey, it's like, man, it's so good. It's, uh, maybe the beginner might think this is challenging, but I love this. This is phenomenal. If you ever get a chance, Hiram Green is doing good things. Arbol and, uh, Slow Dive. And this other one that I have here, um, Hiram Green has a number of very good fragrances. And they're mostly natural a mostly natural house. I don't know if it's 100% natural. I don't want to get stuck quoting that, but um, I know they're mostly natural. They're kind of in that. They're kind of in the in the realm of like uh, TRNP, Tio and Ro, Ryan Tell. Um, and this is Hyde. Hyde is a, a killer. This is when I, I mentioned one time in one of my videos a serial killer's fragrance, like scent of the day. I can see this being a serial killer scent of the day. Jack the Ripper scent of the day. Hyde. Huh. Jekyll and Hyde. Um, it's a great fragrance. Uh, it's a dark, animalic, um, smoky, leathery. Jeez. Uh, I mean, look at the juice. The juice is like motor oil. It's fantastic. I, these are two of my favorites from the house. And... Um, could not be happier to add them to the collection. These are also these are also wonderful gifts for the holidays, I believe, or my birthday. Um, so yeah, so I think that I think that'll do it for this for this haul video. That that covers everything. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. If you have anything to teach me about any of these fragrances. Any anything to suggest that I look for in other houses? Um, any information? Any um, anything you can teach me? I'm, I'm I look forward to the interaction in the comments. So y'all have a great night. Stay grateful. Peace.